Basic Income Grant Coalition champion Beatrix Garises has explained to News on One that the Basic Income Grant will help address challenges posed by black tax and give people an income of their own, as many Namibians are dependent on assistance from their relatives and friends who usually have little income. BIG in, in, in general, or basic income grant in general, is just to cater to everybody's basic needs. So now, if we put up people with 10, 10 people under the roof, right, and each person, or oh, those people are within the ages of 0 to 59, I mean, look at it, that's about $5,000, yeah, mm-hmm. which helps out. So it increases from 1500 right, which I made an example of, to $5,000, which is a huge increase, which can at least meet the basic needs. Mm-hmm. 1.6 million of Namibians are poor, mm-hmm. and that is half the percentage, more than half of the percentage of, of the Namibian people. Mm-hmm. And we are a very small population, so it is impossible for Namibia to have such high um, poverty rates, mm-hmm. including um, the unemployment rates. How many people are graduates and yet they still don't have jobs? So Namibia currently is not pro- providing job opportunities for the youth. So I feel like we, we believe that BIG would be another way of, of decreasing unemployment rate because they can be self-employed, they can do a lot of things or meet to their basic needs with the basic income grant. On the topic of financing the proposed basic income grant, Another champion of the coalition explained that the government can finance it through the country's natural resources. He recommended that Namibia follows the Alaskan-style natural resource dividend fund model by using tax on natural resources such as mining and fishing to finance the basic income grant, emphasizing that Namibia has valuable resources that are under text. Article 95 says that the government should take care of its people's welfare. Mm. Now, that word welfare itself entails a lot of things such as social grants, housing, Economic um, or, yeah, all those kind of things that you know mm. a human needs to survive, all those, all, those, all those basic needs. And when we are looking at it, the government is also turning a blind eye on some of, of, some of its responsibilities that they are supposed yeah. to uh, 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 carry out in terms of protecting the nation or its or all the people that are currently living in Namibia. Uh, when we are looking at the current policies that are in place uh, regarding the mining industry, the, man, the mining industry does not uh, collect enough revenue from what it's supposed to get. So that is also like adjusting those policies to meet the demand of the people mm-hmm. and also to collect the revenue that is supposed to be uh, uh, collected from the from the mining industries. And uh, well, back in, uh, in, in 2018, 2019, we also look back at um, uh, uh, the money that is being returned to the government, such as uh, the Minister of Youth. Uh, there is money that is sent out and, you know, these projects are not done. So uh, what is to be done is just to send back the money and then when the money is sent back there's like uh, there's no answer of what the money did mm. or there's no it's not traceable of how and how the money went back and how you know it was disposed mm. so these are also one of the things that we looked at so like in the line ministry how the money when the money returns this is the money that can also be financing the um, the, the, the BIG, and we also looked at on um, increasing tax revenue. Coalition champion Matthew Petrus believes that the basic income grant should not be seen as an act of charity, but rather as a human right. He added that government has a moral obligation towards protecting its citizens against the cruelty of poverty and inhumane living conditions, as per Article 95 of the Namibian Constitution, which makes provision for the promotion of the welfare of the people and maintenance of decent standards of living. We are not saying the government should just hand out money for free, but it's money that is coming from our own natural resources. The government tried a lot of ways. Uh, job creations never worked, uh, handing out of food. So the, the, the PIG will, will help out uh, the youth. Uh, children, elderly, and also it also encourages uh, some youth to start also their maybe their own businesses or, or something. 
In existence for 15 years now, the Basic Income Grant Coalition, led by the Economic and Social Justice Trust, aims to fight for a decent living standard for all Namibians and to work with government towards the implementation of a basic income grant.